Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ, okay? I'm here today to, to have an interesting message in my heart in order people must know, you know, how to cast out demons from our life, in and out, okay? Because it is the will of God, okay? We will see today. Don't be afraid. No has doubt that Jesus is yesterday, today, and forever the same. Hebrews 13, 8. Okay? So, deliver us of demons. Okay? If we are in Mark, first chapter 21, we show that Jesus, you know, fight in the darkness in order to deliver a man who was possessed. And this person always goes to synagogue. As today, many they affected from demonic influences. They go to the church, but sometimes, you know, leaders doesn't know what they have to do or they, they can handle their situations. And uh, some of them, you know, they remain in the same level of, of spirituality. But uh, in this day that Jesus go and was Sabbath, okay? And he find it, you know, this man uh, who was very possessed was really battle between Jesus and darkness, okay? He was not in control to do. A person who was possessed sometimes means that demons is inside. They find it some window or some door and they come in. And after that, people feel it, that uh, object moving in their body. Okay, sometimes the demons connect with them and they talk to them in the ear, you know. So we know the purpose for that kind of uh, impactation in our lives as human beings from demonic spirit, unclean spirit, okay. We will see today all of that. It is a big teaching, but I will short a little bit in case, you know, to show you uh, to protect yourself first. And if you have desire and if you have a call, you can move yourself into the deliverance ministry, okay? Number one <laughs> is uh, we must be an armor bearer person, a holy person, in order to go to be a warrior in Christ, okay? Uh, if there are some obstacle or situation, and if you feel a wounded soldier must remain to be teachable, to be healed, because Jesus, according to Deuteronomy, you know, never said, Moses never sent into the war people who there are wounded. You know, we must be healed first, okay? And number one, who must be traded by the Holy Ghost. Apostles were the great people, chosen vessels. The Father gives to him all those, and he involved with them, he called them, and teach them, okay, every day. And uh, in God's time, all of them were very, uh, very anointing people. They go all over the world and they preach the gospel with signs and ones and meetings. So in a Mark first 21, okay, um, we show sometimes those people, the, the denomination or religion, because they don't know to handle, they throw out. But Jesus has another opinion, okay? He cast out the demons and keep the men, you know, aside to him, okay? Uh, in order, you know, to move yourself into deliverance ministry, okay, 
uh, you don't have to think that demons is something interesting or powerful or to have any fear. The only fear you have to have is respectful, to be respectful to the anointing, okay, to to God's commandments, okay, what, what actually the Lord wants for us. Um, that fear is from the Lord, it's from the Holy Ghost. Keeps us, you know, safety in order to go in another level of spirituality. But a fear of demons, no. Don't be afraid. Don't think that something interesting because already Jesus has a plan to move from heaven and all, all over, you know, wherever they have, uh, you know, nets or houses or establish all those plans. He has to move from the nets from the earth in order, you know, the human beings, the rest of the human beings after tribulations and, you know, to live a priority with the Lord forever in his kingdom. Amen. So, uh, but also Apostle Paul says we must have ignorance, okay, that so deep is the darkness awful, you know, uh, we learn, you know, day by day we learn a lot of things. That is because in our prayer line, many people tell me, why you talk to demons? And Jesus doesn't talk, that's cast out. Of course, when Jesus came, it was in an Old Testament, and the demons know him and reveal him his name. And Jesus says to them, shut your mouth, go out quickly. Because, you know, uh, there was not in his time to appear to them, you know. But in the New Testament, after the resurrection day, when Jesus, you know, uh, risen through the Holy Ghost from the deathness, you know, from the grave, okay, he likes now to proclaim his authority his anointing, his power, because he says, our Heavenly Father gives me that authority, okay, in heaven and in the earth, and I give to you. So we have authority because where we are under dominion, okay, of the Holy Ghost, and submit our life to Jesus, okay, Jesus has authority through his spirit upon us, okay, and covers us with his precious blood and supports us with power and boldness. <laughs> you see? So I encourage you, you know, don't be afraid. But I says here some notice, don't, you know, think that something interesting, okay? But don't things that you are so experienced with demons and the victory is, as you know, it's, uh, it's going to come if our faith is not in the level, you know, in strong level with Christ, okay? Because uh, it depends on the level and depends on the anointing that dwells in us. According to, to that level we are, uh, Jesus gives us victory because there are some some difficult situation in the prayer line. I'm facing many times challenges that demons resist. Demons has that kind of stubborn spirit, okay, and manipulate that there are so many sometimes inside and they come some and the other hide themselves. That's because always when I rebuke the demons, I say deep, deeper and deeper, okay? So if they hide themselves and they can't come, all, okay, and they don't have that spirit of discernment to understand what's going on in the body of a victim, okay, then demons hide themselves, okay, that is because, you know, we need always to learn about the anointing, okay, the power of the Holy Ghost in order to overcome, in order to have victories, okay, against the darkness. Because 
when Jesus got victory on the cross of Calvary, his victory in your victory. Always I say that. Okay? Hallelujah. And uh, also, you have to know that some people, when you involve with deliverance, okay, you must to have also a healing ministry. Okay, they go together. Healing and deliverance goes together. Okay? Uh, because, you know, sometimes those who carry problems and sickness or illness or something else, some of them, there are, you know, they need therapy, okay, because the sickness is in the body. Sometimes, you know, when demons involve in their situation, you know, it's demonic, the sickness is demonic. I remember that seven years back in the prayer line came a woman from Canada who very disability, very disability, was not able to walk. And he came for therapy, but during the prayer line, uh, the demon spoke to me and they have a, a serpent inside. It's not really a serpent, they took name, you know, from the stars, from the uh, Greek uh, idols, Greek, uh, you know, names of 12 gods, or other, you know, from the nature, animals, or, or snakes, and all of that, too many, you know. Sometimes there are marine spirits who they live in the ocean, or in the rivers, or in the lake. They have a, they have a, houses there, you know, they live thousands of years, all those demons, until the time comes that Jesus is going to clean the earth, and humans shall be live without this demonic, you know, attack, because, to be honest, I'm tired, you know, all my years, you know, fight with demons, you know, that's because Jesus uh, allow, allow, in uh, took to when my mother conceived me, okay, I came possessed in the first nine years until I hear that the Lord, you know, teaches me how to deliver myself, okay? And I deliver a young person. Uh, the anointing was there. I expose uh, whatever limits me spiritually, okay? And I humble myself a little boy uh, I realized that uh, I'm facing challenges, sickness, uh, dreams, bad dreams. You know, sometimes demons came on my bed and shake my bed, very threatful. Some other time I saw dragons and all of them. Similar with you, you know. And, uh, and, uh, and when this woman came, you know, uh, and I rebuke that kind of demons, you know, she got freedom. But I was very happy when I see after the freedom, he started walking. Means the demons block her, okay, the healing, okay. He was not any more disability. Jesus give her, you know, healing and, and, and deliverance. And that's the will of God, okay. Sometimes we face in challenges from darkness, but sometimes the sickness that we carry maybe comes from the physical body, but maybe they comes from generation curses from other things that we saw today, okay? Uh, in, in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 8, verse 5 and 7, you will see that Philip was a great evangelist, okay, and evangelized healing and cast out demons. And because we know that Jesus is yesterday, today, and forever the same, of course, today Jesus, you know, likes to pray, you know, and to heal people and to deliver them from every satanic devices, okay? Um, but his word, actually, when Jesus involved through the Holy Spirit 
in deliverance, nothing like easy or normal or quietly. <laughs> Many churches keep that style life, you know, quietly, you know, the preaching, the, the other little uh, activities in the church. But when Jesus involved, that was demons screaming because they don't like you to cast out them. They want human body because demon is the spirit. And they don't like to be, you know, outside of the bodies. They're looking for bodies, okay? Because the Bible says in the book of Matthew 11, 43, 45, that they get in tyrant, but they have also perfect relationship with one another. So when they feel like they want somebody to destroy and they have target, okay, to destroy somebody or to kill or to do activities, they have unity and, 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 and uh, help one another. You see, satanic, uh, satanic plan, okay, they do together. So we must to be armor bearer people, as the Bible says, we must to be holy people, okay, to respect the superior authority in our life, who is Jesus, okay, and also, <clears throat> you know, we must to live in that power, no break, not, uh, you know, relax it when you are a warrior because the demons are watching you. And, uh, and and King David, King David said, they watches me when I will fail to critical, to criticize me, okay? We must be careful, okay? So Philip doesn't make, you know, quietly things. It's noisy there. That's because, you know, sometimes people, they think that I am a normal church as religion, when they come, they was very surprised, you know, to see all the stuff. And many testify that in my church, I never saw something like that. <laughs> you never saw because, you know, we are a fivefold ministry, it means that we are under the apostolic cover, okay? And the apostles, they don't have cover or or a human uh, authority upon us. Jesus is our cover with Jesus, because Jesus, you know, chosen his vessels, you know, to be in that level of spirituality from the mother's womb. Jeremiah first chapter, uh, verse six, okay? He chosen us, okay? And teaching us and sends us, you know, to do his work, hallelujah commitment people, those people that never deceive them, you know, they never, you know, uh, yes, sometimes as human beings we make plan. You see in the Holy Bible that, uh, that uh, our Heavenly Father never hide the mistakes of his people, eh? uh, yes, but uh, we have that kind of humbleness, simplicity, sincerity, and we approach God. And the Lord, you know, forgives us quickly because of his nature. He loves us because for some people, okay, Jesus is the creator, but for us, he's also savior. That's because, you know, if you listen to that message and you feel that, you know, that uh, your relationship with our Heavenly Father is not so good. It's time, you know, to use the name of the Lord to approach the throne of God and to receive salvation, freedom, eternal life. And Jesus is going to call you my child or my servant later. Beautiful words, you understand me? Because to be honest, Life without Jesus today is meaningless. What do you have to do? Nothing can give me today happiness. Nothing, you know, can impress me today, uh, you know, more than Jesus. 
And also, I say many times, if I have a roof and a bed to sleep and a dish to eat, you understand me? And a little income to pay my bills, I'm most happy man. Hallelujah. Okay. Nothing is unshakable on this earth. You see yesterday what happened in Turkai. So many big area people, thousands of people pass away, some of them. They remain, you know, under the destroyed houses, you know. Uh, Greek was there and helped them a lot. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. Uh, nothing stable than the work of God. Hallelujah. When I read the Bible, I find it that when Jesus involved, I understand many things that I don't understand before. When my grandfather, priest, orthodox, tried to teach me little things. I tell him, you know, I don't understand. Somebody's supposed to open my brain. And that is the Holy Ghost work, okay, into us. When you read, the Bible, Jesus speaks to us directly in our heart. And when we pray, Jesus is there to listen to you. Automatically, our Lord can be in million people in the same time. That's, that's qualification demons doesn't have. If demons involved with one cannot be the same time to another person. No, never. You understand me? But Jesus can speak in the same time to millions of people. You know, it's the Alpha and Omega, the Bible says. Okay. Uh, Matthew 12, 28. Okay. There is a proclamation about Jesus. Okay. That uh, doesn't like, you know, the gift of healing and, uh, and uh, demons doesn't like the gift of healing ministry and from, uh, from uh, deliverance because Satan become naked. Satan become, you know, weak. Sometimes I find it in the battlefield, in the prayer line, when the Lord gives me the opportunity to cast out them you know, using his name, you know, they fray. Sometimes, you know, some demons, when they lost the mission, they go back to the place that they belong and they don't like it because they don't know what's going on there. Okay? But in the mighty name of Jesus, and when we rebuke them, in the fire of the Holy Ghost, consuming fire sometimes, you understand me? Demons kill it. You know, that's because it happened to the, to the man who has a legion in a place of gatherings, okay? <laughs> Remember, all the city wants to throw out Jesus. But the real child was those child who is in boundance, under changes, you know, around and captivity from legion, thousands, you know, uh, is in, um, according to Roman uh, soldiers, one legion is between eight to 30,000. You understand me? Yesterday I pray online with somebody who has many legions. Hope, uh, what I saw all these years is, it is amazing, but I don't want to expose uh, many things because they don't have authority. So, through the deliverance, demons getting naked because Jesus, you know, takes out every cover. Right? And they feel naked. Hallelujah. And, uh, and now, uh, those days, you will see more anointing, healing. You will see chosen vessels. I saw sometimes on the internet. Young people, they pray and demons moving, you know, beautiful. Hallelujah. And I glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, that, but remember, Jesus never sends. 
to evangelize people or to heal people or to deliver people if they don't trade them, okay? If the apostles stay close to Jesus three and a half years, what about us today who we need time to stay to find it some mentor, some man of God who has desire, who receive actual information to involve with you? You understand me? I have many, you know, email that people want to involve to stay with me, but, uh, you know, uh, also I must receive call in my heart that, okay, I sent you that. Keep it. Hallelujah. Last night, you know, they tried to approach me, some people, but not in the right manner. Is you know, can I come to your house to do all of that? to deliver, I says, my house in the place of prayer, but I must know to bring you here and I must organize. But after in the night, a very nice couple from Malawi, okay, uh, they approach me, very beautiful. Uh, the man tells me, you know, my wife has some sickness. Uh, I says, I'm gonna pray also me some moving objects, you know. I pray this morning, you know, I give him an appointment and 10 o'clock in the morning through Skype, I pray and after two or three minutes rebuking that kind of spirit, demons tells me that uh, one of the demons was spiritual wife. Another one was a serpent. And there is another one who comes up from the deep, you know, uh, was Dracul, like uh, from uh, East uh, Asian uh, Hinduism or other, you know, religions. They have some dragons, but they're not really dragons, okay? There are unclean spirit, and Satan sent them to destroy that couple, beautiful couple. I invite in a prayer line, but they tell me we don't have enough, you know, to come from our state, you know, to come to the prayer line. I said, don't worry, it's not about money, tomorrow morning. And I give them, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, I tell them to fasting, you know, real fasting without water and that's one day, you know, without food and uh, to confess because confession makes our student, our future strong when we try to receive deliverance, okay? You must to forgive and uh, we must to be forgiven. Hallelujah. So uh, then the people, they do that. And uh, in the morning, you know, just six, seven minutes, not more, those demons, you know, move out. And the man smiley, and his wife was so happy for the husband. And I say to them in the night, you will never receive, you know, visitation for this ugly spirit who comes between you and your wife, you know, because when a spirit husband or a spirit wife comes, satanic spirits, you know, you don't have affective, you know, you don't have desire to for each one another. And the Lord, that's not the will of God because from the paradise between uh, Eva and, and, uh, and Adam, the Lord says, you know, I'm gonna put you desire from your wife. And that's because men has that desire included today. But for good purpose, when is your wife, not is uh, when is out of the marriages, any connection out for the marriages, call it fornication or adultery, okay? It's not dating, okay? Dating, you know, the, the better dating for good purpose in when the Holy Ghost involves and brings you, you know, the right wife next to you, like in the book of you know, Genesis, the Abraham, he don't want, you know, to marry his son, Isaac, but he sent Eliezer with Gamels to find it in Rebecca from Padam Aram because his father, his brother, sorry, 
has uh, has a, a woman, and and all you know the saints fulfill it, and uh, the gamers was full of gifts, and they and they came Eliezer back, you know, and bring the 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 bride, and when you see you know the bride from far away, they cover herself, you know. And he took his wife, you know, and connect with her. Hallelujah. And they make children after. So beautiful. You know, God's way is so wonderful in our life when we, we are in obedience. Obedience is better sacrifice. Sometimes people offering and do things. The good things follow. If you get saved, you know, after, you know, Jesus count all the blessings because help is the best invest investment, okay? But they follow that things. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, so deliverance and healing and counseling spiritually, you know, actually fulfill the the spirit of the New Testament, okay? In New Testament, the most important because we know many things. We have the Bible every day, you understand me? But we don't have to to listen the same teaching that we must to be rich, you know, we must to be there that, and uh, how to receive the blessings, how to establish new house or a new building for your it is good if if, give, if if Jesus gives you richness and also the richness comes from the Lord, okay? And Deuteronomy 8, 18 says, don't forget that I am the God who gives you richness in your life. So don't be proud that you do by yourself. So there are, we don't have to criticize as Christians, some leaders who have a million dollars. It is good. The problem is not if they have millions of dollars. The problem is how to spend, you know, if there are cheerful givers to give those who is in need, then, you know, uh, this richness shall be blessed him and bless others. Hallelujah. Abraham, Job, all these, you know, patriarchs, in the Old Testament, they have a lot of animals. They have children. They have uh, Jacob also, all of them. You know, they have uh, prosperity. Abraham, <laughs> they have prosperity. Uh, demons doesn't like you to be rich, to be prosperous. Jesus, uh, demons likes you to, to steal your money in order to have poverty. You know, and poverty mentality and poverty spirit, you know, work hard and all the same, the same things, you know, means something negative spirit is behind it, and, you know, to steal your money and to live, you know, under abundance, okay? Peter says everything good is, comes from our Heavenly Father from above. Hallelujah. This, Jesus doesn't penalize us. Jesus doesn't want to put us, you know, in abundance, all of that, to take our ear, you know, to bring discipline. Jesus speaks through his Bible today in our heart. And the spirit of conviction it comes through the Holy Ghost. That's because we must to know, okay, to the, the position of our heart. In other words, what we hospitality in our heart. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. Uh, in the book of Luke 9 chapter, we will see that uh, the Lord takes his disciples and gives them, you know, authority to go to preach the gospel, okay, the great youth, and, uh, and to cast out demons and to bless those who is in need. So, number one, we see the mission, okay? And Luke 10, also, we see, Luke 10, 17, 19, we see the results of the mission. 
we must be fruitfulness, okay? Signs and wonders and miracles must to follow in our life, okay? I have some, some saying about that. Last night, the Lord revealed me that when one says, I'm a leader of Jesus, okay? Uh, that means that uh, God are evangelized and God saves, heals, and frees those, you know, oppressed by, by devil, you know, uh, by devil devices, you know, those who suffer, all right, that Jesus did from G7 or G7, okay? Matthew 10, 7, 8, you can see that. But if you say that I receive, I receive it, you know, ministry, and yet his gift doesn't work, yet, then it's questionable your call because the gifts automatically activates, you know, when you receive a call, all right? In other words, you can be a leader from above and you proclaim Jesus and his authority and the gifts of the Holy Ghost doesn't follow, doesn't work in your life. Hallelujah. All of us, we are gifted people, but some, you know, we have zeal, but for ourselves. I mean, that, uh, that last night I received from the Lord, okay? And Mark 16, 15, 18, the final guidance to the apostle, he says that my father gives me authority on the heaven and in the earth that I give to you. So we are not coverless, okay? We have authority when we submit our life with covenant with Jesus, okay? And Jesus dominates in our life because he says to us in the gospel, where I am, over there shall be my servant. Always I'm be careful what I have to do or where I have to go and how to do that. Always I say, is Jesus with me? Is Jesus approved? Okay, is Jesus sent me? Because we know when Jesus sends his people, he provides and protects. Sometimes somebody says, I want to go, pastor, to preach in Philippines. I say, where are you from? He say, I'm from Pakistan. Okay, if you're from Pakistan, I know that it is a, it's a poor country, actually, you know. Did you have enough money to go? He says, no, no, no. He tells me, go to Apostle John and he's going to give you some kind of thousands of dollars and pay your ticket and hotel and food. And he's going, you know, to send you. I says, I'm sorry. That prophecy you expose because I'm experienced, man, is not from the Lord. Jesus is a gentleman. <laughs> he is rich. <laughs> He's not like me because I can cover that mission. But when the Lord sent you somebody, he provides you and he protects you too. You will come with the results and you shall be happy. So he says, what do you think about me now? Stay in your house, build your uh, small ministry first. They have around so many people to help. Pakistan has 10 million, uh, 100 million people, you know. It's not a small country, all right? They need you there. I think it's not time, you know. I'm sorry. And you deceive it from satanic devices, you know, and disconnect you with your real mission because your real mission is to stay in Pakistan. Hallelujah. Among the Christians, sometimes I receive a question or letters or emails that uh, sometimes people question me, okay? And what is the question? Uh, can Christians to have demons? We must know 
okay, that that uh, the spirit, it's uh, it's 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 personalities, it's faces, okay, exist that spirit, but they don't have bodies. And when you are outside, when somebody cast out, they looking for the bodies, okay to stay in the body and they think that there are owners after, you know, and they try to control the life of people, okay, to kill, to steal and destroy John 10.10, 10. all right, so they're looking for own uh, body, uh, I mean, uh, you see that the gathering man who has legion, Okay, when they, the Jesus cast out all the legions, you know, they ask for the body and they go to the pigs, you know, and the animals, animals go to the, uh, to the river and the Grand Canyon over there and, you know, and the people, they don't understand what happened because the spiritual things explained by the Spirit of God, okay? That's because it was against, because they don't love Jesus, they love the pigs, the animals. Hallelujah. Uh, but the person who receive a blessing stay with Jesus, you know? But the Lord tells him, go see others to see yourself after deliverance so beautiful people you know to learn that testimony don't be afraid to testify what the lord has done in your life hallelujah it's a you glorify the name of the lord don't have fear about that don't hide okay and they looking for body hospitals actually is the place who people sometimes pass away or from aids you know, or from sickness, illness, accidents. Okay, if the person who carried demons inside, okay, um, pass away, automatically the demons, they try to go or to the doctor or to nurses or to those who works around in the hospital. We need to pray those people, you know, to cover themselves with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, so, uh, somebody, preacher, was at the moment to cast out demons in the hospital for some purpose, and, but the, the person passed away and he saw, the Lord opened his eyes, he saw, jump, the demons goes to the nurse. Maybe the nurse maybe was not already or has ignorance about that, okay? Uh, and I says see, here, you know, according to Isaiah 61, one or two verse, the first two verses, okay? If you know to who you are, okay? And know the nature of your enemy, okay? you know how to war. And my question is, okay, are you in spiritual, we are in spiritual warfare, okay? War. Whose side are you fighting on? Many fights. Many have realized that is a war. But did you know about that war? In what side, side you find yourself in? Hmm? That's my question. <laughs> so, according to, is possible Christians to have demons? Hmm. I tell you, it's impossible a Christian, born again person, to be under demonic influences, okay, inside, I'm talking, okay, if the Holy Ghost dwell in you. Can't be the Holy Ghost and demons at the same time. 
But because sometimes we can carry that presence in our life and we fail, sometimes adultery, fornication, drunks, cigarette, it's impossible to carry that grace of the Holy Ghost inside you and you open the door and the demons come. So you need deliverance and you need repentance, you need to confess in order to restore. My personal opinion is that when the Lord delivered me, a uh, nine years old boy, okay, I don't think so that I have the right knowledge to understand what's going on in my life. And later on, very young person, you know, to carry that kind of anointing with unknown tanks. And, uh, and I fell many times in a mistake. Uh, when I get into 27 years old, the demons try to attack me, to scratch me through the bad dreams or fretful dreams or voices, you know, and I feel very uncomfortable. But that's Jesus allow in order to repent. And yes, I repent. It was a, Christ, a Christmas uh, days. I was in Germany in the city uh, Frankfurt am Main. Uh, I have a spirit of suicide. Always thoughts to tell me go suicide yourself. That life is no good. And I go to do, but the Lord, you know, protecting me. And he, his voice comes in my ear, very sweet voice, and tells me, you remember when you was a young guy, what I did for you? I was thinking that is the reason that demons attacking me, attacking me, they can come inside me. The Lord protects me because of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Sometimes, yes, they come in the human body, included you are born again, here you are leaders. I saw many leaders very despair. They call me sometimes and tell me, Papa John, you know, I want to come, but I want to, to stop to be a minister. You know, I have mess. I said, no, you don't have to stop. Jesus is going to give you the second grace. What means the second grace? Okay. His mercy and favor is going to speak with you. Repent, confess, and come here to cast out you. I have more than, I don't know how, how many, but I have some hundreds of leaders. They come included apostles, all of them, they fell. And they carry and Jesus delivers them. And I tell them after, all right, stay a little to heal yourself, to rest and go back to the church. Jesus needs uh, leaders, do you understand me? I'm talking about demons comes when they find us some doors in our lives, some windows to destroy us, okay? Uh, so from this day that I surrendered my life, you know, uh, after that, you know, I never see demons inside or to bother me or to do things. Yes, they, I have battles sometimes, you know, uh, they try to bring me problems or some confusion through others or because uh, in and out sometimes there is a problem in our house, in our ministry, always. Every Christian family, you know, I, I job, Abraham. Abraham has controversy with his wife about the, the child from Agar, you know. All the patriarchs facing challenges through the kids. All of that, Moses has also problems with his wife. He doesn't understand uh, circumstances and all of that, you know, and, and throw the children, you know, into the feet of Moses. But Moses was so st stable in his mission, you know, and he looking how to deliver people. Hallelujah. And uh, from Egypt, praise the Lord. So, under circumstances, yes, demons come, but don't be a disappointment, okay? Those who know, uh, who know that things, how to suffer, included Africans, they suffer for generation curses, uh, grandfather, and because of ignorance, they cut some animals and the blood, 
they dedicate to the demons, to the rivers, all that satanic things. Some white people here, they play cards, they do that some activities, you know, po, 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 po. terrible things, you understand me? And now they start, you know, learn because, you know, demons is very close to us, it's outside of our door. They make already plan, you know, uh, with, uh, to bring, uh, you know, the kingdom of darkness, you know, but we will get victory, be stable, don't worry, okay? So, uh, I have here another list of activities of the bad people. Okay, what is that list? You know, another war. What the demons do it to us when they come? Maybe you have some, some similar challenges and you need to know. Okay, praise the Lord. Uh, actually, they push us to do bad things. Things that is not acceptable by the Holy Bible. Number one, okay? They are abusing us. Okay? They are abusing us, pushing us to do things and also, you know, over and over and over you find that, you know, years you have poverty, years you have some mentalities, years you have some things, all of that, okay? They like to abuse us, okay? Praise the Lord for his anointing. And then he tried to, to affect our life with dirty things in order to take out of our life any holy stuff in our life. I mean, uh, sometimes they you put you you know they put you to see some magazines, some stars. Uh, some people they say I'm a Aquarius, I'm a Cancer, I am Scorpions, all of that. Jesus, you know, doesn't agree with all that because stars and all of that they can tell you your future. Your future te tells you only the Holy Ghost through His prophets, all right, or personal visitation of the Holy Ghost. Do it that, do it that. God visit three times, you know, visit Noah, he visit Moses and tells them, you know, you have to do that, you have to go there. He visit, you know, Elisha and Elisha and tells go to Ahab and tell him that rain soon through your mouth. Hallelujah. That's it. Okay. Uh, and they like to, 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 to be slave for them. Like what I mean, like alcohol, okay? Any drugs, smoking, okay? Uh, some low spirit, some masturbate too. Hallelujah. Women and, and men, okay? Because they see that you are a Lord, Sometimes they use the TV, you know, with uncle and stuff, and uh, the temptation comes and, and fail, okay? And also, sometimes you feel some people who have so weak, they don't have appetites, and they get in skinny, lost some pounds, you know, and doctors doesn't explain what's, what's going on, okay? and makes the person sick. Many times, you know, it's not from, demons has been involved in your life, you know, and that's because that negative results comes in your body. Sometimes we have some over and over, you know, some pains, you know, unexpected for, for no reason. You are a healthy person, you go to, to gym, maybe you walk a little, but, you try to eat organic food, the best, but sometimes, you know, you have that kind of over and over pain, you know, and included sometimes some people, they have uh, 
long time, you know, uh, uh, pain, you know, and and thoughts, negative, and all of that. Okay. Uh, when uh, you are in a prayer, and uh, the Holy Ghost show me the spring of some negative results of satanic, okay, stand on your feet, okay, approach God with humble spirit, okay, and uh, you will get victory, okay. Humble yourself, expose, forgive, because the area of unforgiveness is impossible to receive something from the Lord. Unforgiveness always, I say, is like a poison in your belly. You can you can drink, you know, gasoline, and to be the same person next day. That's the same. You understand me? Takes, you know, stand. Opposite is the is the is the enemy. You understand me? And you must to do that to support not only yourself, to support your family, to support your grandchildren, maybe if you are elder. Okay, to support your business. You know, don't say, ah, it's okay, never mind. Jesus loves me. Of course, he loves you, but you must to do something those days. Uh, if you see tyranny or depression, depression. Some woman called me yesterday, say, I'm very depressed, I don't know why. I say, maybe you're thinking too much. You try to fix things, but you need grace of the Holy Ghost. Ask the Lord to block that kind of spirit. Let us pray together, distance is not a barrier. Uh, I you think so? I think so, you know. You need somebody to help you. You need an anointing uh, person who has, you know, who has prof uh, profess is a, is a professional person, you know. There are doctors here and, they, and there are some other specialists. You know, deliverance happens through the right person. Not everybody deliverance, you know. Not because you pray, sometimes you see a little reactive, Reactions, you know, you think that you are ordained in ministry, or you see today on internet, there are many anointing people on internet, okay, but you feel good and you see the power upon them. But you see sometimes, you know, some frosters, uh, you know, frosters who uh, people get in victim and you call them and they tell you, oh, give me 300, 400. You know, there is another exorcist here, takes 1,000, 1,500. I delivered somebody here yesterday here, and I tell him, you know, why you don't find me before? He said, I go to this exorcism, and he tells me only for counseling, he asked me for $500, only for counseling, okay? And then he tells me, we make an appointment, but I need $1,800. That's not approved by behavior. If you cast out demons and somebody has prosperity, I'm sure that the Holy Ghost is going to speak to him to give you some love offering. Whatever love offering is that, it's blessings. But if they give you or not, you must have the same uh, the same, you know, mannerism, the same lifestyle to them because they need help, okay? Look at the apostles and all the evangelists, all this in Bible, what they do and, and use them as an example today for you. Uh, so, praise the Lord. And uh, here, okay, here, I have some uh, um, area that uh, those demons, I, I want to see with you some areas that demons activated, you know, they have activities. The most important I saw that feeling is uh, emotional today that many women included and men, okay, facing that kind of challenges is the most grievous thorn in their body. You understand me? 
That's it. A person who his life dominates for Christ is a powerful person. He don't have that kind of emotional. Emotional sometimes it's a, it gets you sick, gets you tired, and moves you out of the will of God to take the power and the anointing from you. All right? You must to make demons naked, not demons to make you, okay? Behavior, except feeling and emotional, you know, the behavior. You must understand if you have anger and you can talk to your wife or to your men or to your kids, if you are a man or wife and you have anger, possible to be demons, you need deliverance. You understand me? Fear. Sometimes people, I saw people comes in prayer line or, you know, they walk in the street, but they always, they, they look in behind and they carry the baggage, the woman, you know, somebody steal. Yes, yeah, that is true. But you don't have to have fear, all right? Jesus is great, you know, protector. He protects you. Uh, he has that kind of <laughs> love for you and for me and for you. You understand me? The area, doubt. Doubt means one of the most weapon that Jesus got win in the Matthew chapter 4. Uh, demons approach Jesus, you know, to bring his doubt inside, you know, to, to use, you know, like, oh, if you are God, you know, tell your father, you know, to, to make that stone bread or something. Like Jesus, you know, uh, who was and speak always, you know, through the Holy Bible. I want to tell you something. In any conversation with darkness or with somebody who beside you, you must use the language of the Bible, okay? Not unclean things or not necessary too much gossip. It's impossible to stay with somebody who likes to gossip, to listen always new things on the phone, and you will feel after this conversation one hour that you do, Okay, two hours sometimes or more, and criticize the church or the pastor or how was the pastor's wife and what they put, the love offering, all of that. It's impossible to be happy in the night. If Jesus finds yourself that is not in the level to handle your life and do activities negative, it's impossible the Holy Ghost to dwell in you. So you are in dangerous zone to receive attack from the from the enemy, okay? Anxiety, insecurity. If Jesus says, you know, I shall be with you forever, that's it. You must to believe that. Oh, is Jesus with me? Many says today, Christian. Of course he's with you. He never sleeps, he never walks, he never, you know, do other activities. He waiting on his throne to be a solver problem for you. Hallelujah. I mean, that's the, the activities. More activities in the area of denomination. Sometimes people, they don't know, they are not sure if that church is good, that other church. If they go for church to church, they buy books, they buy cassettes, audio cassettes, you know, in order to learn. And they learn and they learn and never learn, really. Because that is the Babylonian spirit. Stay, hum stay somewhere who the Lord tells you. Be faithful there. Okay, ask the Lord. He has many churches, many meetings. He has anointed uh, people. Or if you ask, he's going to guide you. Because the Deuteronomy says, the place that you worship me and the place that you dwell in, the house, 
Okay, it has to be from me. When you want to rent a house and you don't ask no one, and in this house was a fortune teller, it's impossible your life to be, to be, you know, in peace because demons dwell in there. They captivity the area. Huh? So a denomination. Be careful when you go to listen a, a, a preaching. Okay, and you see the teacher say some questionable, you know, and they say something that, oh, yes, Jesus, oh, Jesus only. And Jesus said, the Father, you know, there is not the Father, there is not Jesus. I'm sorry. Don't accept that kind of teaching. Okay, because when the teaching is false, okay, and they carry the Bible, those people, and you say, Amen, you are part of the mess. Don't say mess. Uh, don't say, you know, I mean, I mean in one sense, I mean in one sense. Somebody believes that, somebody believes that. It's impossible, you know, to have the same spirit, and the same Holy Spirit, and not to be in agreement together. It's impossible. If this Holy Spirit dwell in me, Holy Spirit dwell in you, and the biblical map, the road map in our life is the Holy Bible, we are in agreement. That's it. I don't allow in myself to bring me any information or doctrine in my life. I have Holy Ghost. I know who I am. I know where I go. I know that I will fight the good fight with the Holy Spirit. That's it. If somebody, brother, you don't believe me or you have doubt, find what you want. Hallelujah. So the area of teaching. Okay. Apostle Paul says that kind of doctrine is from demons. They come for us, the John says Apostle, they come for us. They don't stay with us because it was not from us. The same spirit, the same church sometimes, okay, under the same pastor, some people, you know, divide and subtract, and some people multiply and bless. So stay with those who, who cares for you, who, who has love of Christ inside. And also, if you have some weakness, okay, and the weakness affecting your life, don't stay with those who has the same weakness. Stay with those, you know, who can bless you, who knows you to support you. Always in my life, when I was young leader, I was 28 years old. Always I was looking at those who carry anointing. And always I will shut my mouth and my eyes was open to learn. I was very thirsty and hungry what the other says. And they multiply my life and they bring me blessings. It's coming from COVID, some pastor and tell me, oh, we must reunite together. Together? I mean, who are you? What is your denomination? He says, I carry two books and I'm blessed. I say, what kind of books? Spiritual books. I carry the Quran, I carry the Holy Bible. I says to him, I'm sorry, brother. I'm not happy to listen to that things, but you have a call to bring confusion into the body of Christ. It's impossible. Jesus makes only one book by the Holy Spirit, okay? Jesus is an author of this book and that book completes us. In any area of our life has answered that book. The other, forget it. I don't want to say more about that, okay? Uh, the area when you involve with a cult, 
some mansions, some other, some new age churches. When you go to involve and you are part of this community, I have many, many video that one woman, 30 years, 35 years, a Russian woman was there, possessed by uncle and spirit, and they speak about Jesus, and in the end she finds it that it was not Jesus. It was not somebody else rule the souls of this denomination. Actually, it's a cult. All right. The Lord delivered her and not goes there. And never goes there. Okay. Mysticism. Yoga. Sometimes, unfortunately, there are some Christians, they go to yoga and they go to the church in the evening. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something very true and open. You can't stay like this. You know, and you try to bring relax in your brain by yourself. Demons is going to attack you with that doctrine. All right? So don't do that. Prayers is the most spiritual weapon in our heart and fasting and all of that that in Matthew chapter 6 the Lord tells us. Okay? Another big area is the area that many Christian trappers, horoscope, you know, books, play cards. This is the area. Actually, I tell many times that the fortune teller use the cards and they speak when the joker comes, they say bad things about Jesus. When, when the, the card of D Okay, the lady represent, you know, Mary, and they curse, or the letter of A. If it comes to you when they play A, somebody's going to pass away on your, uh, on your house. Hallelujah, horoscope, stars. Never the Lord put them, you know, to... to to, to watching that, to looking for help for them. Hallelujah. <laughs> and then, like some, uh, you know, religions in Greece, Orthodox and Catholic, they go to this uh, kind of gypsy people who they saw your coffee, and they put the coffee upside down, and after they say, oh... I saw somebody's gonna come in your life. Oh, new relationship. Oh, I see if you play joker, you gonna win. Lies upon lies. And you believe you lost your money and you trap it from that teaching, false teaching, okay? And then in the area of our physical body, you find sometimes people paralyzed. Okay, physical, they, are, they have some people, Parkinson. It's not that it's demons. Or they have some old people, Alzheimer. They, they forget sometimes. It's because 90 years old, 95 years old, you know, working the brain is getting expired. The body, okay? Jesus is going soon to give them a new body in heaven. That's it. Hallelujah. Billy Graham has a little Parkinson, but who is a man of God, you know, it's because you, you are elder. <laughs> I met him sometimes, and he blessed me so much with his presence and his teaching. Hallelujah. Because he has a gift to evangelize. Hallelujah. So in the area, okay, they bring you some paralyzed, I say before, okay, that... Uh, uh, people get some part of their life doesn't work, right? In this area, possible. And also in the area of tongues, it's very significant. We must understand, I told to you, a Christian person, you must to learn more than anything else to use your tongues and your mouth 
Okay, James says that is a little tongues, but you know, fire comes from here. Two different fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost to rebuke demons. Yes, approve it, that behavior. You have to have that kind of power. Hallelujah. Uh, to, to give encouraging work. It's from the Holy Ghost. Many are disappointment around the world. Say good things. Be optimist in Christ. Hallelujah. Don't think that tomorrow storm, tomorrow that, tomorrow what do we do? What must we do? Oh, I'm despair and all of that. The bad area, the area of tongues. You must learn your tongues to be a useful instrument for results, to glorify his name, to have testimony, to comfort the hearts of the people, to be an evangelist or to be a minister with call. Hallelujah. Always ready for counseling to those around you who is in need. But unfortunately, not all of them, you know, they use the tongues. Sometimes Christian to Christian, they criticize, they gossip, they get damaged sometimes, all right? Take revenge from the people. If your tongues, you know, is like this, better cut it. Jesus says, better to go, you know, in a paradise with no hand or no feet than you go with two in the hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Liars. Christians, many Christians, they say today, oh, there are black lies. They ha they ha there are white lies. They are not that truth. Lies is lies. Truth is truth, okay? Jesus says, let there be light. Be the light of the world, okay? Be the light against the darkness. Be the light. In the place of darkness, be the light. Keep the light of Christ that Jesus dwell in you. Eh? Hallelujah. Be a candle, life candle. People need help. They want to see you. How to, how you receive it, that blessing. What happened to you in your life? Why you are so joyful? Why you worship Jesus all the time? They, the Apostle Paul says they was, they was not explained what happened to us? What happened to us? Be ready for that. Use your mouth. Use your eyes to see the glory of God. Not to watch, you know, TV all the day from program to program. Chak, 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 chak. Look at here how many women, they talk to me about the kids. They use the TikTok. More satanic program on internet. You know, somebody tells you, say, do small video and 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 uh, and, and somebody webmaster to help me. Okay, use small video in order YouTube to support you. You can have many subscribers. The Lord in the night tells you. Make the right understandable video in order my people to see complete deliverance, healing, testimony, interview, all of that activities as leader of God must to be infallibility. And me has to be, has to be under the spirit of infallibility, you know, in order to carry Effective prayer life. That's you need, the Lord tell me. That's you need. Don't follow the spirit of the world. Those days, the kind of new style of videos. They're not new style. I make video normal, understandable, okay, capable for every spirit who is in need to receive help. That's it, people of God. 
Hallelujah. And also, one of the most significant, I have to say that, the area of sex, okay? It is the will of God to love your wife. And your wife, you know, not has control, but the control has the husband, but in another way. Some preachers I saw wrote a book that there is unlimited relationship between husband and wife. Ah, oh. oh. I, I was surprised. People, born again people, teaching us that is on the bed, the Lord gives us, you know, this time. He cares for our body, is our body. Yes, Apostle Paul says, you know, I crucify our body to the cross. Jesus dwell in me. You can, you can crucify demons. You can dedicate your body to the Lord, but for, for the temptation and all of that, you need a husband, normal husband from the Lord. Dated is not you know, the right path to walk in order to look for husband. If Jesus doesn't involve in your marriage, okay, your marriage shall be, your honeymoon shall be questionable. Jesus must be involved. That he says to Moses, chapter 21, you don't have to put donkey and cow in the same yoke or horse with cow. It's impossible you to be from one denomination and somebody to be another denomination. It's impossible this marriage to stand in the future. You have to understand. And also, when the time comes to meet your wife, sometimes Men's expose that like lions on the jungle. They say words. You must to keep your words, the unclean words. You can say to your to your husband, "Oh, so nice, has a handsome man you are." And the husband said, "Oh, you are so pretty." Hallelujah! Praise the Lord for us. Let us pray now on the bed, kneeling on the floor. That's so beautiful. Okay, the area of that, okay? If you don't believe me, believe Apostle Paul, what he says, visit the first chapter of Romans. Those who overwhelm it hmm? and use obscene language, not acceptable language from the Holy Ghost in this area of unity. This must be an area of blessing to enjoy life. When the king saw Abraham play with his wife, they were laughing one another. And he calls him Lord, my Lord. And his, his wife was a very beautiful woman. Hallelujah. The Lord provides for you every fruit beautiful. It comes from Austria four years ago. A good looking woman, 45 years old, and has a no good the first marriage, but he has a child, a little boy. They come together and bring me a man, 67 years old with cancer, disability on the wheelchair, and they tell us, blessing us. I was shocked. And I say, in front of them, directly, look at my lady. Jesus cares for this man on the wheelchair to heal him, to save him, okay? To deliver him. But it's not this connection from the Lord. Jesus, you know, I pray for him, but if the Lord heal him and his mercy speak upon this body, the sick body, 
Help him. He needs help. Pray for him, all of them. But to be a husband, whatever Jesus says, you know, it comes from above, is good. If he gives you a gift, and if that gift call it husband or wife or adopted child, sometimes the adopted child, they don't know the people, including leaders, to, to broke that generation curses and the child getting possessive. You must to ask the Lord first why he don't give you the fruit of the womb. Easy. So many women got healing and they got beautiful children. Why you have to go to adopt? And if you adopt, all right, you have to ask the Lord, is that free person or carry the generation? You understand me? I want you to read, you know, the, the, those who overwhelm it. You know, too much flesh. Not supposed to be the flesh on fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost has to be upon those demons who they want to, 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 you know, They want to, to destroy you. The other area is the hospital and the psychologist hospital. So many mentality. Polar disorder or something. Split personalities. Full. That's not come suddenly, you know, somebody getting, you know, that kind of sickness craziness, and people lie down all day, disappointment. They talk a little bit, they eat a little bit. Most they want to pass away because no hope. If you see somebody go and bring your hope, dwell in you and bring hope in the hearts of the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Other area, eh, lost, sometimes lost, or sometimes people getting hungry all the time. Eats, eats, eats all the time. At the same time, they have anxiety all the time. They don't know what they do. Okay? Sometimes women. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, the Lord says to Moses, if somebody is glutinous, let the other take stones to kill him because that's the Old Testament. That's the law of Moses. Jesus allowed the hardship laws in order to understand people today that we are the beautiful testament of grace, this will that Jesus makes with us, okay? After the law, number five, because he makes five, seven wheel, all right? We go to the wheel of the new millennium, better, better, after the eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen? Glutinous. I can't, I can't control my life. Oh, people walk in the street, somebody smokes, and when they, 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 the others, you know, feel it, that smoke, chuck, cigarette. Hallelujah. No control. Okay. And now another question, and I'm finished. I'm sorry that I can't stop because this is a big teaching. I can't stop and another time makes part one, part two, okay? How they go inside, okay? <laughs> From the womb of the mother, another word, generation curses. Hallelujah. Jesus 
like me, as I say before. Child can come from the mother's womb, possess it. Curse it, in other words. Okay? Because maybe the parents follow the wrong doctrine or the wrong religion. I can imagine sometimes, you know, people who they involve with uh, the religion of the parents or the grandfathers, they face in some uh, big challenges, you know, okay? Hallelujah. And when there comes also disability, those who, who women who are getting pregnant and they look into abortion. Hmm. They're looking to kill the child in order to be free. Those days fight Democrats and Republicans, some good senators, you know, because some states that are against that law. Hallelujah. Okay. If the mother doesn't want the one that's pregnant, means the child is going to come disability. No has doubt about that. Hallelujah. Okay. And also demons comes when you are in weak sight, when you have some kind of weakness. And as Christians, I like to advise you that your strength must to be upon your weakness. If your weakness is upon your strength, I'm sorry. It's impossible to have successfully and spiritual life and to connect with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then other things. Action, sinful action. Hallelujah. And, and, and demon goes. If you see a dirty TV, I want to tell you very often, porno, the more worse. People to do bad things on TV and you enjoy it because of your flesh, you know, soon you will see demons inside you and you can't stop. You will see every day two, three movies. Not only you destroy your eyes with cataract. That's not so important. You understand me? In the night, when you go to sleep, you're going to have bad dreams. Sexual dreams. And sometimes it's not just dreams. It's, 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 it's spiritual wife or spiritual husband. They touch your private area. They do that things to you. Jesus doesn't allow, he don't create you to rejoice, you human being with the demons, sexual activities on the bed in the night. Hallelujah. Wake up. Close the TV or sell it if you don't want. There are some programs beautiful. I see many nights when I relax with coffee. I see Alaska, I see, I saw Animal Channel, I like that. Order my cell phone, some cats and dogs play. <laughs> I rejoice. Beautiful. Innocent things. Hallelujah. Violation. So many movies, all violation lies. Star Wars or something. Po, 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 po. Aliens. All of that. You enjoy it. There are so many people when a movie speaks about that, all theaters are full. Hallelujah. People of God, I shared with you today significant things. Things and stuff and the words that you needed. Because I love you, okay? My, my mother tells me a motto that if somebody loves you, it makes me cry. 
loves me, makes me cry. Hallelujah. I say good and real things. You know, I don't hide all the things. Those areas in our life must to be holy. Our walk, 133 Psalm say that when Aaron moving upon the sun, you know, in the wilderness, oil comes from his hand, and the Israelis see that is the holy man. We must learn to walk uprightly with Jesus, to follow his step. If you want to be a righteous man, you must learn that the gate is narrow. Go with those who Christians, real Christians, born again, who, ne who knows how to, to go through the narrow gate. Stay if you find some warrior to teach you spiritual warfare. Stay somebody who knows that your body sometimes uh, can be our enemy. Flesh. Dedicate your life to, to the Lord. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul says in the book of Romans chapter 8, I want to do the best, but I find that sometimes another law in me who is against my spirit, the law of, of Christ. Of course, all, all of us tempted and tested in our life. All right? But, but Jesus is going to visit you to support you when you see that you reject everything from the dark wall and accepting the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Then Jesus pleaded with those people. And then you, everything you need, Jesus is going to give you. That's it. When you learn to approach Jesus by the Spirit with the right words, because Jesus has a character, the best character. If you know to approach him, he's going to give you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Go quickly for prayers. I bless you. I bless your life. I bless, you know, to have the right desire of the Holy Ghost. To approach God and you will receive. You will receive grace, favor, mercy. All this beautiful comes from above to you. And you shall be a precious to others. It's time to transform your life from a man who worry all the time to be a warrior. Hallelujah.